Hello and welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are having a fantastic summer and if you're watching this getting ready for your first year of teaching then make sure you do enjoy yourselves and do relax because you've got a very very busy year or two coming up in front of you. So you're a new teacher you're going into your first year this is your first day what are the top things I suggest that you should do? Number one make sure you're asking questions guys you will have a list of questions in your head you'll have all sorts of things that you just don't know there'll be things that you don't know you don't know but anything you do kind of realize oh I'm not quite sure about oh I don't know what to do go and ask the question go and ask them what to do it's the best bit of advice you can ever give someone i wish i could give myself this advice because i didn't do it enough when i first started and i did struggle with some bit where i should have just asked for a bit of help but the best thing to do is ask questions because no one's going to expect you to be amazing no one's going to expect you to know everything you're a new teacher you're new to the job and we're teaching you have to learn on the job it's the only way to learn so go and ask people what things are like how to do things so someone recently on facebook was asking about they're an ect and they're going in and they feel like it might be cheating using the other teachers planning but they also don't know how to do the planning and while it was a great place to ask and lots of teachers were given good bits of advice. The bit I posted on was just to say, look, go and ask someone at the school because every school does playing differently. Every school does things differently. So as much as I'm trying to help teachers here and trying to help you guys into teaching and help you know what it's going to be like, your school that you're going into will probably do some things very differently to the way mine does. So my best bit of advice would be to go and ask someone. So day one, first thing to do, if a question pops up and you don't know about something, ask them. Even beforehand, if it's going to be an inset day and you don't know what to wear, ask someone, is there a dress code for inset days? Is there a dress code for normal work? days just ask the questions email someone text someone who's got their phone number and ask the questions because that'll be the best way to get your feet on the ground and it'll make sure that they can see that you're proactive that you're not just waiting to find out you've done something wrong you're proactive you're trying to get things right you're trying to do work hard to make sure you're doing the right thing so definitely guys make sure you're asking the questions now talking about inset days some people's first day will be an inset day so other people's first day will be the first date with the children so either way whether or not that is it make sure that you have got your classroom sorted now if your first day is an inset day you might have been given some time in that day to do your classroom and get it ready if it's not and the children are in on that first date then you want to make sure that you go in just before you start school only like for one day maybe two at a push to get things sorted now this isn't something that's going to take all summer it's not something you need to be worrying about all summer it just means when you go in especially if it's a new classroom familiarize yourself with things make sure you know where all the spare equipment is make sure you know where the books are kept Make sure you know where you can get different bits of equipment from that you're going to need for your lessons for the next couple of weeks. There's nothing worse than going to a classroom and not knowing where things are. And you know, if children might ask you for a spare pencil, if you've not got any spare pencils, where are you going to get them from? They're the types of things, again, that you need to find out. And if you don't know, it goes back to point number one. Go and ask someone, ask a question, find out where you can get that stuff from. There are no stupid questions at this point in your career. There's only learning, there's only finding out, there's only wanting to be proactive and get things sorted. And so make sure you are doing that as much as you can. The next thing to say while you're asking all these questions, and especially if you're on an inset day and you're getting told things about what it's going to be like with the children when they come back, is to write things down. Again, it's not something that I did too well at the start, but it's something I've got a lot better at. If you want to remember a lot of things, the best way for me to remember them is to write them all down. If I sit there and nod and go, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll sort that then. I'll sort that then. I will forget the majority of the things that I need to do. However, if I just have a pad of paper and a pen or a really nice notebook, I know that we've got at the minute for the next year, the Positive Teach Company planners, and they're just fantastic for this type of thing. Keep that nearby with a pen slotted in it and make sure whenever anything comes up, you're just scribbling it down, something to remember either on the day we need to do it or on the day when it's due or just on today's to-do list or to-do lists are just fantastic for teachers so make sure you're, make, you're getting all that written down and you're making sure that you get it done that you do what you need to do there's no point sat there getting told a million and one things and in your first day you will feel like you're getting told so many different bits of information and it will feel like there's a massive list of things that you have to do but get them all written down get them prioritized i've talked a bit before about the teachers to do this so go have a look at that video and i'll see if i can link it somewhere up there prioritize it into what you need to do today what you need to do tomorrow what might be done later on what things are the urgent tasks that have to get done and what things are the things that you can think about a little while in the future and yeah just make sure you're writing those things down the things you need to remember things like passwords gate codes i remember when my first summer holiday i had i came back at the start of my second year teaching so this is obviously a year year into the future for you guys if you're watching this going to your first year it was a year in and I'd never written down the gate code because every single day you just turned up and bashed it in and got in and I got there I was like oh actually I've not done it for six weeks I've forgotten it so write down the gate code somewhere in a book in a planner on your phone wherever it might be just so you've got it for when you have that kind of moment where you've got woken up a bit late you're rushing and you've just forgotten the code it's always useful so make sure you get all that stuff written down and remembering as much as you can and if you can't remember it then it's there for you and you've got it for the next day if the children are in class on your first day then make sure with them you are setting your expectations out so you're making sure you are very clear about what it is you're expecting of them what it is you're expecting in terms of their behavior in terms of their work in terms of their presentation 
in terms of their attitude towards their learning, their friendships with each other. In all areas, you need to have these really, really high expectations. And they're so much easier to set really high up there and hold them up there rather than setting them down there and trying to build them up again. So make sure you are setting those expectations as high as you want and you're holding them at that point. Be really clear with the children what it is you want from them how you expect them to do it and then once they've had a few days to get used to that make sure you're expecting them to get it right first time. Obviously there will be mistakes made and that is absolutely fine it's about fixing those misconceptions and building on that learning to, for the next time to improve on whatever the mistake was made. But it's all about having those expectations of the children set really high so they can do the best they can and you can obviously work alongside them to be as teacher possible and they can have the best learning experience that they can. The next thing to do on your first day and especially if the children have been in this is something to do after school if the children haven't been in the winter you get a spare half hour or something start thinking about tomorrow so you've got in you've started your first day you might have got your classroom sorted you might have done your first batch of that whatever it is that you've done on this first day how are you going to improve on that tomorrow what are the things you're going to change what are the things you're going to do the same what's gone well what's not gone so well part of being a teacher is all about being reflective and building on your past experiences building on what has gone well changing what hasn't gone well and adapting it to your class there'll be loads and loads of things that you'll sit there thinking, oh i'm not sure about that how does that how can i improve that don't change everything in one go don't do everything but just pick out a few things you can think actually you know what I tried that today and it maybe didn't go so well today so tomorrow I'm just going to tweak it slightly I'm going to do it this way and we'll see if that works any better but also pick out some things that have gone really well don't just put yourself down actually you know what that lesson was fantastic I'm teaching that style again tomorrow I'm going to keep using that bit of behavior management tool I'm going to keep working with that student on this particular topic just Big yourself up a little bit and say, well, you know what, what's gone well? What's had a, what's had a good, good impact on the children? What's built on your learning? What's built on their knowledge? It's all about building yourself up a little bit. Because you know what? It's a really, really tough job teaching. It's not easy. And if you're going into it, then you're going to have a really busy and hard working year. But hopefully by the end of it, it'll all be worth it. So keep going, work hard, and hopefully we'll see some improvement very, very soon. And once you're done thinking about tomorrow, start setting yourself some targets for next week. So over the course of this week, you've got some things that you'll be working on. You've got some things that you're thinking I really want to get that done. Don't think about next week as well. Think about what you're going to achieve by the end of next week. How are things going to be different? How are things going to be better? How are you going to improve your learning in terms of your learning about how to be a teacher? How are you going to improve the children's learning and your impact on them? What are the things that maybe you think actually I could have done that a little bit better? What are you going to change? What are you going to do differently and what are you going to do better? It's all about building on what you've done before, building on how you've learned things. And just like we're thinking about tomorrow, think about the things that have gone well. What, are you, what have you enjoyed this week that you want to keep on doing? What targets have you met? Have you made sure that you've managed to leave at a sensible time? Have you made sure that actually you've, you've had some time at dinner to, for yourself? You've not just been working non-stop all day. Have you made a really good impact on the child's learning that you want to improve on and continue working on in the next lesson? Make yourself some targets, make yourself some list of things that you've done really well. And generally just make sure you're enjoying yourself. If you're not enjoying yourself, that it's likely that the children won't be as much as well. So if you can make sure you're having fun, then the children will also hopefully be having fun too. And that's what school is all about. It is all about learning. It is all about passing tech, building on their knowledge, but it's also about having fun. Children and teachers need to have fun in the classroom because if you're not enjoying yourself then the likelihood is that not a lot of learning is going on. The best children are the ones that learn with a smiley face. They get on and they work hard because they're enjoying themselves and they want to be there. So if you can get all children more classroom with a smile on their face then the likelihood is that the lessons are going to go well too. A happy classroom will make sure that they're all getting on and they're all working hard and so that is kind of your ultimate aim. Not to make sure children are having fun in terms of making them laugh but just make sure that the classrooms are nice, it's a welcoming, it's a safe space for them all and they all feel happy to be there. It's not about being a friend and it's not about making them laugh, it's not about being a joker. It's about making sure that the expectations are set clearly, that they know when they come to school it's about getting on, it's about working hard, but it's also about sharing and being valued and being respected and that goes for you respecting them as much as them respecting you. It's all about that equal partnership that where you're learning together, you're working together. It's not about them coming in thinking oh I've got to listen in case I get in trouble. They should be coming in wanting to listen because they want to hear what's going to be said and that's something that it will only come with time, will only come with experience, but you can set that store out in your first day. Make sure that you're listening to them, make sure that you're hearing what they're saying, make sure that you're taking action on things when you say you're to do something actually make sure you do it but also guys remember it's your first day your first day is not going to go perfect your second day is not going to be perfect either but keep working on it keep setting those targets keep bigging yourself up for the things that you've done well and eventually over time you will make sure that you are a good teacher it's all teaching is all about learning i've done four years now and i'm looking forward to learning how to improve even more in my fifth year and most importantly i can't wait to get back in the classroom but i'm also loving my summer holidays i hope you guys are too so make sure you enjoy yourselves and as always a new video on a tuesday a friday and a sunday and i'll see you very soon